then this is just go with it with that. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> and uh, today we'll be talking about conspiracies. And today's conspiracy will be uh, about uh, the media controlling the way you think. There you go. Media controlling the way you think. See, now you have two perspectives on it. You have this perspective and my perspective. In case you didn't know there were two of us. It's two perspectives. And then, of course, you've got your own. Well, you should start with being, you know, you've got the reasons to speak up your own mind for what you think's going on. Because there is something going on out there. Because what we've noticed is, is that everything that's being in the media is being controlled. And everything that's being controlled is also controlled by the government. So something that's controlling the government and the media has been controlled by the same thing, basically. And that's basically controlling the way you think. Like, if you speak out, if all the people that have spoke out about the government, it's happened to you. It's happened to the families. Strange illnesses, disappearing, strange, you know, criminal cases for what? Things that don't really exist, just to keep them silenced. Things like that. You know, they, seem, they tend to hide stuff on the internet. Because you want to, you know, you do a search for, say, uh, I don't know, uh, Barry Jennings, who was a man who was in the World Trade Center. Uh, actually, it was a World Trade Center 7. And, uh, hear explosions inside the lobby and on the 8th floor, the 6th floor, and if you do a search for him, you find out a very interesting thing is that uh, he was killed in 2006, 2006, I think. It's not, the information is not easy to find, and you really can't find anything about his death. There's just, he was there, he told his story, you can look on YouTube and find the video of him coming out directly from the World Trade Center, uh, so and giving his opinion on what happened. This is, you know, directly after it happened. And then he spoke out for years saying the things that he heard. And just before a new article, the final press release of what happened to World Trade Center 7 was going to come out, he was killed. Or his death was very serious for sure. Yeah, no one knew what he was. Now, this is what I mean about the media controlling the way they think. Because everybody else, everybody else, we're going to watch each other. Bombs, people saw bombs, you can even look at the videos yourself, it's not the first time, it's it. People who work in construction, people with any common sense, no. They, planes wouldn't do that to a building. There'd be something there, it'd take up part of the top off, it'd just make a load of rubble. Part of the building would still be there. There was no steel core there, there was nothing there at all. And people who spoke out about it, like Jennings, who's actually in the world trade, suddenly he's died. He disappeared and it was mysterious. And the people, friends of his, or people who were looking at him on the internet, Pay private investigators to go and look into this. And these investigators who went to look into this refunded the money and said, Don't ever contact us again about this case. Don't contact us. And this has been about two, maybe three private detectives that have gone back and said this. Now, this is strange because then this goes on to other people who spoke out. It's not just Jennings, people in politics have spoke out. People who work for certain banks have spoke out. Look at JFK, he spoke out. He got shot. Now his speech, we'll put this at the end of this as well, he made a speech about how the media shouldn't be fair to take them. It should be for the report to actual facts. If it's a mistake, the media should report it. He made all these kind of comments. He was taken out. Jennings made all these comments against the media, against the government, saying there were bombs in the World Trade. He was taken out. I mean, he was there. He went up, he was on the seventh floor or something like that. The lobby was immaculate. He came down from the seventh floor, he was destroyed. After he said he had arms blowing, what was it destroyed when the planes were up in the air? You know? He spoke against that, he stopped. Other people do too. Yeah, and that, that goes along with what you were saying earlier, is that the media wants you to see what you want, what they want you to see. And if you don't think, like, the internet is media, that's exactly what it is. That's the core of it. Because you go to a Google search, you go to a Yahoo search, you go to a, you know, any kind of a search engine, you type in what you want to type, you don't bring back what they want you to see. Yeah, they're going to bring up, you know, what you've searched for, but they're also going to bring back the sites that they want you to see. Because most people don't know about all this stuff. Most people have no idea that the things happen, that have happened with James. They don't know. 
They probably never even seen that video where he says there were explosions because they want to go on believing that what the government says, what the media says, that it's fun. They want to believe that just the planes went in and that's it. You know, yes, the planes went in. A lot of great people died. That's not, we're not saying that at all. That's, it was a horrible thing that happened. However, I think people need to think about it and start looking into it a little bit more, you know, closely. And not just relying on the media to give them the information. Or not just watch the 10 o'clock news, which is all just killing anyway. I don't watch the news anymore. I can't, I can't do it. It's just all depressing stuff. You see, you see, there'll be 30 different things in 25 minutes, and 29 of them are negative. Maybe you'll have one story about a hot dog vendor at the fair, or, you know, maybe you'll have a you know, pizza parlor opening up. That's the most of it's murders, burglaries, you know, rapes all this stuff, it's because they want you to be afraid. <laughs> they control it, you don't. It's like because no one who's done anything good has ever reported. Look at the celebrities that are out there, look at the celebrities that are doing something, making this movie. Like, for example, Michael Jackson. He did everything he could for charities, for children charities, for everything. The media destroyed Britney Spears, the media destroyed her. The pickle saw him before the target, and that's it. And then people who sit there, they believe it. They think, oh yeah, because it's in the magazine, because it's printed on the website, it's true. If you start looking at things logically, looking at everything from the wider angle, you work out to yourself. It doesn't actually make sense. You can live here at the moment. Now, England and America, they're already out there with planes, ready to attack. Now, they kept saying, we're not going to do more, we're going to sort this out in a diplomatic way. No matter how heated this gets, we're going to sort this out diplomatic. Then they deploy planes. Now, if you're flying planes over somebody else's land, over someone else's country, warplanes, this says that you act in as, you know, you're going to stop them from flying out. This means that you're going to, in effect, attack them. As soon as they do something like that, you don't agree with, you're going to attack them. Now, that's what England and America have done to Libya. Fair, fair enough, I mean, Libya aren't perfect with, with what they're doing, and it's wrong, and the Libya government, they should be gone. But for us to actually do that, that's a declaration of war, in effect. Now we're doing that, we're being told, oh no, we're not going to sort it out diplomatic. That's exactly what we were told us about. The UN didn't agree, we went in, we killed Snap. We were told it was about, we told it was about nuclear weapons, we thought it was about terrorism, we told it was about something we did in the 80s. It was 20 years before we killed him. We were told all sorts of stuff. None of that makes sense. If it was something from 20 years ago, why did it be killing 20 years ago? If it's something from nuclear weapons, if it didn't exist, then why did they, why did they let him go? Some weapons didn't exist. It's all about something else. It's all about the media telling you it's this, it's this, and you're buying it. And you shouldn't buy it. And the people who are buying it, who are speaking out, are being taken out. Now, I personally, I'm not bothered. I mean, the people have to be only one. It doesn't bother me and the same machine. It doesn't bother me either. Because why should you be told what to think? That's the only really thing about the American government, especially. They're going out taking out dictators because they are telling the people how to act, and they're killing them. And that's what America's doing too, because so many people have disappeared in America who have been speaking out, you know? But the only difference is, is that places like Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, they're doing it more publicly. America aren't, oh, they're doing it more secretive. And it's because they're doing it more secretive, that's how they're getting away with it, or hiding beyond the media. That's just... Okay. <coughs> I'm very well sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I think that concludes the first episode of uh, Conspiracy Theories with Ash and Shane. And uh, if you'd like to find, uh, find out more information, we're going to put up in the, the tags, the links, and we're going to put this speech here at the end. Um, we'll put the transcript link for this uh, JFK speech that you really need to read. Look it over and see what he's really saying there. Because most people think it was just a, an amazing and, you know, fantastic speech, which it was. But if you look at what he was really saying, was he was saying, I don't agree with what I am being told to do, to say. So, I'm going to speak out, and I can live with the consequences, or actually die with the consequences, as it turned out. So, see <laughs> So, he just made an amazing final thought here for this video, and we think the media, the government, tapped into this camera, and it shot off. Yeah. He had this crazy 17 minute speech that he gave of why and how everything should be and why it is and how you should you should actually try to do it. I don't think you can even do it again, but it was amazing. So well, you know, basically the message was we should start buy into conspiracy theories. Don't buy to what the media tells you. It's, it's two sides to every single story. 
so you should know this, is listen to everything that the media is telling you, but don't just think that they're the only ones with the facts, don't think the conspiracies are, just because you haven't bothered and they're telling you that that's that, that doesn't mean that's it. What you need to do is to work out why they're telling it you, and worry, make up your own mind, make up your own mind as to why, and make up your own mind as to how. You should have done that, that means that you're right, not them. Because everything they're telling you, there's keeping stuff. Like I said, there's two sides to every single story. That's basically it. <laughs> that's good. Alright, good job. We'll just stop again. <laughs> no, it worked that time. Government didn't get us that time. <laughs>